So if you close okay. about 40% or 50%, yeah. you're probably, you could probably raise your prices by one, like 0.8 to 1.2. Okay. If you're 80%, you could basically double your prices or triple your prices. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what happened. And uh, the math behind it, I remember this. I don't know if I'm supposed to give this out. Because <laughs> on the book, it says not for distribution. <laughs> but this math changed, changed the way I look at price increases. And I think this is probably the most valuable thing I can say. Because I, I called all my entrepreneur friends when I learned this. Because <laughs> it, it blew my freaking mind. So there's a, a math conversion of how to figure out where you're the most profitable in pricing. And the math conversion is you take your, li- you take your conversion rate of whatever you're selling. And you multiply it by the lifetime gross profit of the customer. So lifetime gross profit is not net profit, so it's just the cost of equipment, deliverability. So yeah. you know, if it, if you have a trainer, what you pay them, and then that's it. Okay. And then whatever it costs you for software service stuff like that. Yeah. So to, for a perfect example, um, let's say on my we'll use simple numbers. Let's say my lifetime gross profit at my current prices is a um, thousand bucks, mm-hmm. and I have a thirty percent conversion rate. I take thirty percent times lifetime gross profit. That conversion number is 300 bucks, right? Okay. So that is like my benchmark number. And what's crazy is if, let's say I drop my price in half, and I did this with all my products. If I drop my price in half, to make the same money, I have to close at least 80% of clients yeah. at that new price point. 